Amanda. Amanda. You know, a friend of mine once said to me, Greetings to the non whites and greetings to the whites. You know, it was a Ghanaian student who was coming at UCT for the first time. That is what he felt UCT was saying. UCT, you know, for black students, you cannot be able to identify with the institution. UCT's institutional culture, institutional symbolism is centered around a white, westernized, middle class, heterosexual male experience. And that needs to change. Culture, according to Professor Clifford Getz, is the historical transmitted patterns of meaning embodied in symbol, a system of inherited conceptions, uh, uh, inherited conceptions expressed in symbolic form by means of which men communicate, perpetuate, and de develop their knowledge about attitude towards life. Instead of tr uh, a, a true transformation or instead of true integration, black students are being absorbed into a white hegemonic culture in the institution. And <laughs> thus, denying the contribution of their cultural capital towards the institutional ethos. And that has to change. In the words of Steve Biko, at the heart of true integration is the provision of each man, each to rise and in attain the envisioned self. Each group must be able to attain a style of existence without encroaching on or being uh, thwarted by another. Black people reject the notion of being mere appendages to a westernized society. And that needs to change. UCT's institutional symbolism, we are not able to identify with. And you cannot tell me, <laughs> you cannot tell me that something cannot change whereas you formed it and I was not there and I was not even allowed to participate. That cannot be the case. Whose heritage are you preserving? That's the question. Who are the keepers of our memory? Yeah. Sons and daughters of Africa, who are the keepers of your memory? Since UCT is saying we will not be the keepers of your memory. As the SRC of 2015, through true representation, we seek to strive to, we seek to strive uh, to drive a stronger transformation agenda by influencing and reshaping social consciousness and the institutional culture to promote equity, inclusivity, sustainability, and academic excellence. Our vision as the SRC is striving for a sustainable and progressively transformative Afrocentric university. Because wherever you walk around the UCT, it is very much Eurocentric, and that has to change. We, as black students, as African students, need to be able to identify with the institution. Whose heritage are, you, are we preserving? What about the Kwais and the Sans? Which former, Tabon, uh, former President Tabon Begi described as whose desolate souls haunt the great expans expansions of the beautiful Cape. They who fell victim to the merciless genocide our native land has ever seen. They who were the first to lose their lives in the struggle to defend our freedom and independence. They who, as a people, perished in the result. Who created the symbolism? For whom? For what? For too long, the narrative at this institution has silenced the voices of the non-white students and the non-white history. This university continues to celebrate in its institutional symbolism figures in South African history who are and undisputedly white supremacists. Who are the keepers of our memory? A people without the knowledge of their past, origins, and culture is like a tree without roots. That was said by Marcus Garvey. Sons and daughters of Africa, who are the keepers of your memory, the guardians of your souls? Who are the keepers of your memory, the guardians of your souls? Will our children ever know of the great people who contributed towards UCT's development. I'm talking about Achima Feji, who was a political activist and a professor of anthropology. 
you know, I'm talking about people such as A.C. Jordan, who was a novelist, librarian, a, a, a literary historian, you know, the internet, an inter, intellectual pioneer of African studies in South Africa. I'm talking about people such as Hamilton Nagy, who helped Kiss Bernard have the first heart transplant. Will our children ever be able to know about those people? Why is the university not saying something about these people? We need to be able to see an expression of our values and our aspiration within the institutional culture and symbolism. Will our children ever be able to know about people such as Richard Rive, you know, Professor Mahmoud Mamdani? You know, so, 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 there are still a lot of, you know, excellent, brilliant academics or people who have contributed to UCT's development, but then they will never be acknowledged because some of them were just cleaning. So, because you are a cleaner, you are not, you are not worthy of a recognition. What are we saying? Transforming the, uh, 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 the, the signage and the symbolism will enhance and enlarge the meaning of social change. Our intent is to enhance the social cohesion in the transforming of learning and living spaces by, embodying, uh, by employing uh, 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 symbolic markers of change. If we are saying that we are really truly committed to reconciliation, we need to be moving in this process. We need to come in together as the UCT community and people from the outside in saying that something must change. We have been here for a long time. Why has the institution not, anything, not done anything about the institutional symbolism? Why? Who are the keepers of our memory? Sons and daughters of Africa. Who are the keepers of memory? Sons, sons and daughters of Africa. Franz Fanon said, when we revolt, when we revolt, it's not for a particular culture. We revolt simply because, for many, for many reasons, we can no longer breathe. And we have come to that time where students can no longer breathe in this, in, in, in this culture. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winds of change are blowing through UCT. The winds of change are blowing through UCT. All that needs to be done from our side is we need to set sail. We need to set sail. Our institution should cease in saying we have done much for transformation. Undeniably, it is our very own nine white brothers and sisters who we advocated for to occupy these positions of leadership, thinking that they will change the system from within and raise the issues of transformation from within. But I stand before you today in the midst of disappointment. We have reached an impasse with management and are fatigued at requesting for meaningful transformation. We have begged, we have groveled, we have pleaded with management. No more. This university cannot continue as business as normal. It simply cannot be the case. In that spirit, I cannot be participating in this. Amanda! Amanda! <laughs>